Okay, we're gonna give these bees a quick once over right quick. These bees I cut out out of an old shed and they were about ready to swarm whenever I did and they were in swarming mode and I've been trying to keep up with them. The way their numbers are looking right now, it looks like they might have swarmed on me. Not sure, but we'll have to see. We got some cat brood. So you can see the a little bit of cat brood right there. Don't know if I can get the light right. Y'all can see down into the cells or not. But this thing's almost all nectar. There's a little bit of cat brood over there. Keep the bees down. Cat brood on that one. A few of them. Not seeing any eggs, so I might see some uh, queen cells and stuff. I don't know what I got going on. They're just drawing out on that one. Let's get that one out. Okay, here's a bunch of brood. Young larva. <clears throat> Still not seeing any eggs though, but maybe you can see down in those cells. See some of those real young larvae down in there. So we'll keep going through and uh, see what there is to be seen. More larva, a lot of polished cups, but no, uh, no eggs. You can see a bunch of the pollen right here on this frame. All the different colors in that right in here. Here's a queen cup right there. Tilt it back. There's an egg in it. They're getting ready to swarm as they laid an egg in a queen cup. Sometimes she just lays an egg in there. If they decide to take it to a queen, it's really up to the <clears throat> middle aged bees and what becomes of that. But let's go ahead and check these other frames. Okay, there's a queen here, so there is eggs. And uh, that's some eggs on this frame. See inside of there. Lots of little larvae and stuff. Not very many bees on this, so their numbers are way down. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, she's laying up a storm. Oh. There we go. See that is a queen cell. It's capped off. So these bees might have already swarmed because most of the time they'll take off after. But I see eggs in there so I might have just missed them or something. But you can see that little cell right there. The bees are all kind of be right there in the middle of it. There it is. So they probably swarmed. If I do see the queen in here, I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah. See, there's another one high up on the frame like that. Might be an emergency cell. Um, 
there's not really enough for you I could split these bees but there's not really enough to justify splitting this little hive <clears throat> so I'm just gonna go through once more and look for the queen right fast and uh, see what see what goes on get on one of these frames where they're all congregating over here maybe Maybe she's all going to be now. She's probably on the bottom of the box. So I'll figure out something to do with this. There is a laying queen in there though. So there's eggs. So they're either just probably swarmed out judging by the number. Because this was a lot of bees in here before. And there's only about half what there was. Which is normal for a swarm. Okay, well, I've been fighting them for, since I cut them out, really, they've been trying to swarm on me, so. Uh, I'll just going back to the wild. All right. Let's go check one of these other ones out. Let's look at this side. This side's a pretty nice one. They're a... Uh, decent size this one was one that uh, I cut out a couple months ago and the queen went for a swim and some honey during the cutout and uh, she didn't make it I did catch her but she she died shortly after and these girls went queenless <clears throat> so I had to requeen them out of that hive we were just in and uh, see what they look like they look like they've been pretty busy <clears throat> so far these frames out to make some room here okay uh, so lots of nectar coming in all nectar <clears throat> starting to cap off a little bit you can see where, uh, let me get around here. You can see where they've started to cap it. That's honey ready to eat. And this stuff over here isn't too far behind it. There's some pretty good weight on that frame. So they're making honey, which is a plus. Oh, this one here's got a lot more. This is something, some stuff that they started with. This is foundationless here. So, it's a little crazy, but it is what it is. I rotated this stuff up to give them some more room down there in the bottom. And they are filling it full of honey. <clears throat> That'll be some nice comb honey right there. This top piece, this stuff, I'll probably just wind up feeding back to the bees later on. No easy way to get the honey out of that stuff. <clears throat> I'm wearing out my welcome here. More honey. Solid frame of honey starting to cap it as well. <clears throat> up there at the top so that's always good now I gotta try to lift this lift this box off of this thing let's see what happens Let's 
going on? Oh, that's heavy. That's got to weigh about 40 pounds there, that box. I just need to do a quick run through down here to make sure that uh, no craziness is going on. Make sure they're not trying to swarm on me or anything else. More honey down there. Make sure the queen is laying good. Make sure she got mated properly. They're wearing me out over here. Eggs and larvae on this one. Let me see if I can show you what's going on here. These bees are just stinging my hands like crazy. All right. So that right there, the bigger stuff is drone brood. That's the males. Smaller stuff over here is the female worker brood. And it looks like we got a good laying pattern and everything's going on good with these girls. I'm gonna leave them alone. They're a little bit angry. They're tagging me up pretty good. There's another one on the finger. Mm. Alright, let's get these girls back together. Alright. Well, it's a little bit more in depth. Me and I'm already getting stung up one right there so whenever they sting you can see she's trying to get her stinger out but she's hung up so flick it get your nail scrape the stinger off just give it a little puff of smoke and uh, it helps to rub a little bit of honey on there if you have any available I don't right now but Maybe I can borrow some from this hive right here. It just covers up the alarm pheromones so you quit getting hammered in the same spot over and over again. All part of the fun. All right, now this hive right here. See how they're doing. I just want to check their honey surplus, see how much room they have. They, uh, they had plenty of room the other day. I'm just going to check them again. And, uh, looks like they're doing pretty good. I see one big old fat frame of honey in here. And I also see some crazy stuff that they're building over here. Oh, they got drone, drone comb up here. Not too good, but they got a bunch of drone comb. So, uh, these girls might just get an excluder on them. They might be trying to swarm on me or whatever. But I'm going to borrow a little bit of this honey right here and, uh, put it on that deal there's another one hmm. not super happy it's getting a little bit later on in the day to be doing this stuff but you only work them when you can work them so check on this frame of honey right here and see how it's coming along because it is a big fat frame of honey oh 
yeah. That's a nice one. This frame weighs five or six pounds. It's got lots of caps on it. That's going to be a nice one to go in the extractor. These girls are making it. It's been a rough year for them, but they're, they're making it. I'm going to leave them alone. I've angered them enough. But the drone brood in that hive was just some stuff that I moved down or up from there rather earlier on in the year. Well, I guess that's gonna be it for this one. It's, it's getting hot out here and I need to go do another cutout on some bees. I had a place, I did two hives over here already. I gotta go get this third one out. And, uh, good Lord, figure that out. So I guess I'll see you on the next one.